Stay home from church, stop by a convenience store, ask the clerk for a six pack. What you say, but sorry, sir, no beer on Sunday. I said, what? She said, you heard me. You heard me? <laughs> I said, ma'am, that's what I said. Have you a Bible? Have you read any chapter or any verse or any other collection of words that allude in any way, whether a man may not or may buy a beer on Sunday? She said, sir, that's a law. So the law, man, the law, God ah. said, I'm just trying to do my job. So well, there's a man he might have heard. Sabbath, he was out, do no work. Fuck. I fucked it up. Hold on. start over there. I said, law man or the law of God said, sir, I'm just trying to do my job. I said, well, there's a commandment you might have heard. On the Sabbath, thou shalt do no work. I said, sir, you have to leave. I said, ain't you a Christian? Don't you believe? Jesus turned water into wine. And if he was standing behind me in this line, I have a thing or two to say about all this no beer on Sunday. That's what you call security. Security! Most politely I addressed the guard, said God gave us wine to gladden our hearts, and maybe you've read, should again, what Ezekiel said to the virgins of grain. So explain to me, make it clear why a Christian may not buy a beer on Sunday. He show me the door. Next Sunday I was praying in church. She said, Lord, let me know when your body of works. Give me a sign of your great power. The man might buy beer any day or any hour. As a clap of thunder, bolt of light. The Lord appeared all dressed in white. Cracked open a natural light and said, son, things don't change overnight. Might take a little time. Meantime, here, have one of mine. That was fantastic, thank you.